Everyone seems to be talking about capsule wardrobes lately and for very good reason. They are a good way to organize your wardrobes, save money, save time. There are some real pros, but there are also some cons attached to having a capsule wardrobe. So the reality is they're not for everyone. So today I've decided to really focus on some of those pros and cons so you can decide for yourself if a capsule wardrobe is the right approach for you. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. I spent 20 years working in women's magazines here in New Zealand and also in Australia. When I left, I started this YouTube channel so that I could share some of my top fashion tips with you. Now, today we're talking about capsule wardrobes. Now, this is something that seems to be a real buzzword of late and for very good reason. I think most of us are feeling the pinch of a global recession and a capsule wardrobe is definitely the easiest way to really save money and stop buying unnecessary clothes that you don't actually need. If they're done right, they also make putting together outfits so much easier. But I keep seeing so many myths surrounding capsule wardrobes and so many images and videos that would put some people off actually having a capsule wardrobe themselves. So that's why today I wanted to take a deep dive into what a capsule wardrobe is and how to actually make it work for you. Now there seems to be this idea or notion that a capsule wardrobe has to be really limiting, somewhat boring and only for extreme minimalists. So to set the record straight and to get started it makes sense to define what a capsule wardrobe actually is. Basically it's become a trendy way to describe a really hard-working wardrobe and by that I mean one that's filled with timeless pieces that can be easily mixed and matched together. There's a real sense of order to a capsule wardrobe and that is often the one thing missing from wardrobes that I see where women have lots and lots of clothes, struggle to put together outfits. What is generally lacking is a sense of order and some purpose to those pieces. I personally think a capsule wardrobe is a great idea as long as it is the right capsule for you and as I said that will look different for everyone. So let's get on to debunking some of the myths so you can really decide for yourself. Now first up I need to say that a capsule wardrobe is definitely not right for everyone. You probably already know that but if you're someone that likes a lot of different styles and perhaps you don't really know what your personal style is and you love adding new colors and new trend pieces to your lineup, then a capsule wardrobe is just not going to work for you. But if you're someone that wants a signature look and an easy way to get dressed in the morning and you don't want to keep spending money on clothes that hang in your wardrobe and don't get worn and perhaps you tend to buy pieces that you already own, then a capsule wardrobe could be the answer. Now next up, there is no golden number of pieces that you need to own for a capsule wardrobe. Now I keep seeing all sorts of images online that represent a capsule wardrobe and basically it's just a rail of clothes with a couple of very bland looking pieces there but that to me is not the essence of a capsule wardrobe and the problem that I have with images like that is that it scares most people off because they're not extreme minimalists they're not going to survive on 10 15 20 pieces but a capsule wardrobe doesn't have to be limited to a small number of pieces Yes, in essence, that's where a capsule wardrobe started from, but that doesn't have to be the way that your capsule wardrobe looks. And that leads me into my next point, which is basically a capsule wardrobe doesn't have to be all blazers, white t-shirts and black pants, which is what I also tend to see a lot of. A capsule wardrobe will look different for everyone. And of course, if that's not your look, that is not how your capsule wardrobe is going to appear. So I suppose my message here is don't be put off by seeing those images or seeing people that you follow online that work well with a capsule wardrobe and they're the pieces that work for them. They won't work for you, but that doesn't mean that a capsule wardrobe isn't right for you. And at this point, I'd just like to say a really big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. I have worked with Squarespace a lot in the past because I love what they do. I have a Squarespace blog, which I find super easy to navigate. Now, if you're anything like me and you're not overly tech savvy, you will love Squarespace. It really is the easiest and 
I think most effective way to build an online presence. When I started my Squarespace blog recently, I used some of the gorgeous templates that are on offer. And all you need to do is go through, choose a template that you like the look of, and you don't have to overthink it too much because at any point you can make some changes and adjustments. The templates are just a really good starting point for your website. Squarespace also manages all of your marketing, your analytics, you can set up a shop and sell products on your Squarespace site. Everything is there in one place. You're not having to go outside to send emails to your customers or to work out what your analytics are and where your traffic's coming from. It's all there in one place, which I specifically find really handy. So if you've decided to launch yourself online, what I suggest you do is go to squarespace.com, take advantage of the free trial. When you're ready to push play, use my unique URL, which is simply squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and then my discount code which is the style insider and that will save you 10% off the purchase of your first Squarespace website or domain. It's really that easy. This is a great offer. All of the links and more details about Squarespace are in my description box below. So let's get on to talking more about capsule wardrobes. Now I'm not sure if this is a pro or a con but having a capsule wardrobe will mean that you will ultimately own less clothes clothes and that is of course one of the advantages of having a capsule wardrobe. You'll be buying less, you'll be saving money, you will have less clothes but the downside to owning less clothes is that it means more regular laundry. So you won't have 10 different shirts. You may only own three or four key shirts that you love to wear or whether it's key tops or tees or whatever that piece is. So you don't own a huge number of similar items. So in a sense, it means that you will be washing and doing laundry more often. And that to some people will definitely be a con. Oh, and before I forget, I'm actually putting the finishing touches on a very simple step-by-step -step course on building your own capsule wardrobe, and one that is absolutely perfect for you. I'll be there to hold your hand all the way through. There are workbooks so you can easily have a checklist and keep track of the process. But let me know in the comments below if this is something that you are vaguely interested in, and I will be doing some giveaways of the course just to kick things off but it should be ready really soon but let me know in the comments below if this is something that is of any interest to you. One of the real upsides to having a capsule wardrobe is that shopping for clothes becomes so much easier. You have real order and structure to your wardrobe so there's no more wandering around the stores or mindlessly scanning online stores to find pieces that you like and generally when you're shopping like that which is sort of a random way to shop you tend to make more impulse buys so when you do have a capsule wardrobe you have less pieces you have a better handle on those pieces and when you are adding new pieces to that lineup you've got a very good idea of exactly what you're looking for so it saves time and money shopping it also doesn't have to cost a fortune to have a capsule wardrobe and there seems to be a little bit of a myth around this that Capsule wardrobes are only for extreme minimalists who spend a huge amount of money on really few quality pieces. Now that may have been the whole sort of starting point of the idea of a capsule wardrobe, but I really don't like this thinking because obviously you can only spend what you can afford, but I think the key message in, in this is a good one because it means that you spend as much as you can afford on a piece that is better quality as opposed to spending perhaps the same amount of money on three or four fast or more fast fashion items. So it really is about buying better and buying well, but that again will also look different for everyone. Now capsule wardrobes do run the risk of becoming boring and there is a reason why we see some of those minimalist rails of clothes that look all neutral and a little uninteresting. But you don't have to have a boring capsule wardrobe. Again, it is all about you. And if you love wearing color, you can still create a capsule wardrobe that is colorful and fun and flirty or whatever your personal style is. But it's all about having less, slightly better quality. And the key is making sure that a lot of your pieces, 
not necessarily all of them, but a lot of your pieces work with each other to create multiple outfits. I often read that there is no place for trend pieces in capsule wardrobes, and I totally disagree with this. I think you have a better idea of which trend pieces are going to work for you if you do have a capsule wardrobe, because you're not randomly buying trends that you like, and that's often where a lot of us come unstuck. We buy pieces that we like without a lot of thought in terms of whether they suit our lifestyle or whether they work back with the clothes that we currently own. So I truly believe that there is a place for trend pieces within a capsule wardrobe sort of situation. I think it just becomes really easy to pick and choose the trends that are right for you. And someone left a comment on one of my videos recently and I thought that this was a great idea. When it comes to trend pieces, a good question to ask yourself is, what's your hourly rate and how many hours would you need to work to pay for this particular piece? If that doesn't marry up or if it sort of horrifies you to think that you'd have to work so many hours to afford that particular trend piece, then maybe it's not a good purchase for you. So I do believe that capsule wardrobes help you be a little more intentional when it comes to shopping. While I do believe a capsule wardrobe is a great idea, I don't think it's an easy transition. Moving from a chaotic wardrobe where you have random pieces that you love and potentially a lot of them don't work back with each other. I do think it's quite hard to transition a wardrobe like that into more of a structured capsule wardrobe. Often one of the hardest things at those early stages is deciding on a style and color palette that is the basis of your capsule wardrobe. So you really do need a plan and a intentional plan of how to start that transition. And what I do say as a word of warning is not to go crazy and declutter a whole lot of pieces out of your wardrobe. There is a simple way to do it so that you don't waste some of those pieces because the last thing you want is to get a handle or get to the point of your capsule wardrobe that you really would like to reintroduce some of those pieces that you sort of quickly got rid of in the early stages. So it needs to be a thought out process with a plan so that you're still not wasting any money and you're not getting rid of some of those pieces that could be used really well. One of the key messages that I would like to get across today is that having a capsule wardrobe doesn't mean that you have to be absolutely perfect. Obviously part of the appeal of a capsule wardrobe is that it means less shopping for fast fashion pieces which is ultimately kinder on the planet. But you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to never Ever, ever buy another piece of fast fashion again. It's not about being perfect, it's about being perhaps better and more thinking more sustainably than you have ever before, but reaping the rewards of doing that. And the rewards are simply that getting dressed is easier, you save money, it's kinder on the planet, and it cuts through the clutter of fashion. Because fashion at the end of the day needs to be fun, it should be fun. And a capsule wardrobe, in my opinion, is the easiest way to get to that place. So you don't have to be perfect, and I would never preach that at all. I think it's too hard and life's too hard as it is. But these small changes definitely make getting dressed so much easier, it will help you save money, and who doesn't need to save a few pennies at the moment? Times are tough, that is no secret. And if we all just make some small changes, we will have a positive impact on the planet as well. So there's nothing to lose and everything to gain in my opinion. But I'd love to hear what you think about capsule wardrobes. Do you have one? Do you like the idea of them? Are you the sort of person that they would just never work for? Please let me know in the comments. I have some great chats with you in the comments. So let's talk about capsule wardrobes. I'd love to understand what you think of them. So just to recap, I do think that capsule wardrobes are a great idea, but they do need to be tailored to your specific needs. Oh, and let me know if you're interested in my online course, my up and coming online course, the first I have ever done. And it's basically holding your hand and walking you through step by step of creating your very own capsule wardrobe. And as we know, fall is just around the corner. So if you would like to find out what the key footwear trends are for the season, then just take a look at this video here. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.